Hello, I'm sitting here with the lovely Oland, and Hello. we are at Soundfix in Brooklyn. Tell me a little bit about the uh, the equipment that you use, because there's a lot of stuff going on over there. And for this uh, picnic yeah, setup, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I can only imagine from hearing the sounds that are on the EP that um, there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, like a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, layers. So mm -hmm. How did you get into that like electronic sound? You know. I think uh, the reason why I, I, I wanted to make electronic music was because I wasn't, uh, I'd never played a traditional instrument. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like playing guitar or anything. And uh, I'd, I'd grown up with uh, with piano, so I, I kind of knew the piano as a friend, but I wasn't like, I wasn't familiar with the notes and, mm -hmm. and that thing. I could just like, I knew, I felt really at home uh, playing it. And, um, and I guess because I didn't, really know any instruments in a traditional way I just started uh, I would be like oh, I need a snare or something I need I, I need some drums but I didn't have any drums in my bedroom so I was like uh, okay I'll just use velcro yeah. that, that can be the snare and like I just started recording things and then then I found out how flexible electronic music is and you can basically make any s with filters and everything you can you can basically you make any sound into anything so tell me a little bit about your uh, your album that you just put out uh, the album will be out in uh, February mm -hmm. um, or like the, the date is not completely set right. yet, but around that time uh, and uh, yeah I just um, I moved to New York in January this year uh, and I've just been recording and writing a lot of so uh, songs and uh, I think I wrote like 60 or 70 songs or wow. something and just like cut it down to the 10 that's on the record and it's been a really fun process. I've been working with amazing producers, um, Dan Carey and Dave McCracken, uh, who are both from England mm -hmm. and then for one track I've also worked with uh, Lester Mendes who, who lives in LA. Where I come from I was just used to making everything myself and right. just sitting in this very private little world and just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you do something like uh, like this today, where you have mm -hmm. a bunch of people who you know just come in and are you know like really connected to the music, how do you how do you react to that? How does that make you feel? Are you surprised or do you say like I, I knew that was gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> I say of course. <laughs> uh, no, I just uh, I just love when when I can connect with people through music. People can get out of it what they want, but I, it's, a, it's super important for me to go out and, and play music because for me, music is like a social thing. Mm -hmm. It's like something that has to live out in the real world and not just be in your own head. Otherwise you go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I need to get it out. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Thank um, you. This is Oland, I'm Alex. Check her out, herb.com. Bye-bye. And I only dream of you.